I'm Marley Bird, and this is the Turkey Trot with Marley Bird 2019. There are a couple things I want to make sure you know how to do for this next clue. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm working on a little swatch right here, which represents your clue number one. Of course, yours does not have stockinette. Don't worry about that. I'm more concerned about the garter stitch. At the end of clue number one, you finished with a wrong side row, so you need to turn your work and we will jump in with clue number two. Clue number two has us begin with a cable cast on. So you're going to take your right hand needle and going between the two stitches on your left hand needle, go between them. I'm not in any particular stitch, I'm just between those stitches. I will take my yarn, yarn around my right hand needle, bring that stitch through, and this is the important part, we're going to extend, swivel your left hand needle and scoop up at that stitch and put it back on your left hand needle. We'll take our right hand needle and now we're going to go between the stitch we just created and the stitch that was on our needle already. So I'm going between those stitches, yarn over my right hand needle, come out between those stitches, extend, swivel my left hand needle and scoop between the stitches, yarn over my right hand needle, out, extend, swivel and scoop between the stitches, yarn over, out between the stitches, extend, swivel and scoop. That swivel and scoop is very important. It puts the stitches on your needle the way they should be oriented, okay? Now you will do this cast on for the number of times listed in the pattern for the size you're making. I want to remind you that if you want to make this section of your piece shorter, there is a note in the written instructions at this point for you and you need to pay attention to that. Okay, so you will cast on the number you're supposed to cast on. When you get to the last one, okay, so this is like it's an, it's an extension of the piece we've just done. Then we will go ahead and we will knit across all of these stitches we cast on. We're keeping this all in garter stitch. When we get to the stitches of the piece we've already created after clue number one, we just continue on. Okay, we'll continue on through all of those stitches. So we now have the number of stitches we had on our needle after clue number one, plus the number of stitches you just cast on. All right, so I'm at the end of my row. Of course, yours will take a little bit longer. And now we have an extension right here. So I turn my work. And I have to cast on again, because I have to cast on for this side. So this time I'm going to hold the yarn in my left hand. It's the same process. I'm just holding my yarn in a different hand. We will go between those stitches. See I'm between those stitches. Yarn over. Pull that yarn over through. Extend. Swivel and scoop. Between. Yarn over. Out extend, swivel, scoop. Between, yarn over, out, extend, swivel, and scoop. Okay, this number of stitches, the number of stitches you will cast on on this side will be equal to the number you cast on on the opposite side, okay? So you will now have even more stitches on your needle. This is why it was important you used a circular needle. Now I don't remember how many stitches I cast on over here so I'm just going to stop right there. And then once you get them all cast on you will just knit across. Okay now I'm going to get to the end of this row and then we're going to talk about what you will do at the end of this clue. It's a bunch of drop stitches and some of you may have never on purpose dropped stitches but we are going to actually create extra stitches on our needles, and then on the following row, we will drop those stitches off. 
This is a great way to really highlight the nature of the yarn and give us some extra length. And it's just fun to do. So I wanna show you how to work those drop stitches. Once again, we're gonna use our imagination and pretend we are to the point that we are going to add our drop stitches. So we're gonna follow the instructions at this point. On row 17, we will knit four. So we will knit one, two, three, four. And this is where the magic is gonna start. We will yarn over our right hand needle two times. Did you see what I did there? I'm gonna undo it. So my yarn is in back. I'm gonna bring it between my needles to the front, over top of the right hand needle. And then I'm gonna do that again, bring it between my needles to the front and back over top my right hand needle. So I have two extra wraps on my right hand needle. And now I will knit one. And I do it again. Wrap once, wrap twice, and then knit one. Wrap once, wrap twice, and then knit one. Let me hold my yarn in the other hand. Wrap once, wrap twice, knit one. Wrap once, wrap twice, knit one. Wrap once, wrap twice, knit one. You will do this all the way down the row, all the way down the row to the last four stitches and you will knit those last four stitches. So let's carry on here, yarn over once, yarn over twice, knit one. I just finished my row with all my yarn overs and knit ones and I will turn my work and don't worry, we are not going to keep all of those yarn overs. We will actually, actually be dropping them off our needle. So we go ahead and when we have knit stitches, we will knit them just like we normally do. But when we come to the stitch that's the double yarn over, you will notice it quickly because it's not attached to anything on your fabric as it exists. It's just resting there on the needle. I literally want you to drop it off your needle. It's gonna look goofy and funny, but that's what we want. You wanna knit the next stitch. It's gonna feel loose and goosey. Don't worry, it will work out just fine. We have another two yarn overs. We drop those off. Knit the next stitch. Drop off your yarn overs. Knit the next stitch. You can see here, when you drop off the two yarn overs, your next stitch, you will see that there's a purl bump there. So if you're like, I don't know where the stitch is, just find that purl bump. That's the, the knit stitch you want to, to work into. There's dropping the two yarn overs and knit one. Now, I'm guessing you know how to knit or you can understand my knitting with my um, yarn in the left hand, but just in case, dropping the two yarn overs, knitting the stitch. I'm only dropping yarn overs, you guys. Dropping the yarn overs, knitting the stitch. Dropping the yarn over, oops. Knitting the stitch. Dropping the yarn over, knitting, if I can go through the actual stitch. And I will do this all the way down the row. Once you have dropped off all of your stitches, you will then be able to count the stitches on your needle once again, and you should still have the same number of stitches you started before the drop stitches. But look at this, as I turn my work, if you pull your fabric down, can you see how you have that really cool row of drop stitches? They look like really elongated stitches. With the latte cakes that we're using, this will really highlight the yarn and just make it look like something fun and funky. So those are the drop stitches. Now you know everything you need to know for this clue. Good luck. Don't forget to join the Marley's Minions Facebook group and show us your progress. Talk to you guys later. Bye.
Hey, thanks for joining me today on the channel. If you want more videos just like that one, check out some of these other videos that I've already handpicked for you. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that way you're up to date whenever I release a new video. And don't forget, smash that like button as my kids say. Bye guys.